Hi there folks, Andrew here at ChatFuel. Today, as you can see in front of you, I'm gonna be showing you how to execute a creative design technique so that you can spread one product image across multiple gallery cards in ChatFuel. It's fairly simple to do, so don't be intimidated. Just sit back, relax, and brainstorm about how you can use this same technique in your bot. So let's actually first exit out of ChatFuel here and dive into Photoshop. Again, don't be intimidated here. You don't have to use Photoshop. It's just my personal weapon of choice. You can use whatever image editing software you want, and it's really not that challenging. First, what we want to do is create the proper dimensions for our image because, again, we need to spread it across those three gallery cards or so. You could use more or less gallery images as well, although I say three is probably the max you should stick to unless you're stitching together multiple images because otherwise the resolution is going to get so degraded and the image is going to get so zoomed in that it's really not worthwhile. So anyway, let's, as promised, go into File New in Photoshop, and we want to create the canvas that we're going to work with. So now that we're here, we just have to do one simple calculation. The height here is going to be the same, 1080, 1080 pixels high, but the width, obviously, is going to change. And so if we're doing this across three gallery cards, we need to multiply this 1920 pixel width by three. So I'm going to do that here on my calculator. You can take your time to do the same. So I'll do 1920 times three. That gives me 5760. I'm going to go back into Photoshop here, paste in that new width, and now it's going to be three times as long as the normal gallery card. I'll click create, and there we go. Awesome. So now we have this canvas. We can spread our image across it. The one other thing we need to do before importing our image here is to create each segment of the gallery card so we know where to crop off and export each image so that we can upload it individually to ChatFuel. So to do that, I'm going to go back into the original canvas I created here, which is the normal standard gallery card height and width, 1920 by 1080. And I'm just going to plop in this ChatFuel blue background here so I have color against the white and I know, again, where to crop each of those three images. So I'm going to now hold down on my keyboard, Command and A to select this color, Command C to copy it, Command V to paste it, and there we go. So now we have these three equal segments. If I wanted to, also I could drag the one over here and then paste in the other one here, drag it over, and great. So now I have these three segments to again, know where to crop this larger image for each of the individual gallery cards we're gonna use. Perfect, so we've created our canvas, we've created these divisions here, and now let's import our image. I already have it saved to my desktop here, so I'm going to go to File, Place here in Photoshop, and I'll import the whole image right here, which is a Lamborghini, my favorite sports car. Now I'm going to simply scale this image up and you can see, as I mentioned, you want to really use a high quality image to begin with because when you're scaling it up this much, three times its normal height and width, you're going to degrade the quality. So you want it to be a high quality image to begin with. I recommend anything around 3000 pixels or so. A 4K image is great. Again, the larger that you have this image, the more degraded it's gonna get. And also, it goes without saying that this works best with a landscape rather than a portrait photo. So this car is a perfect example because it's very thin and narrow and it's horizontally oriented rather than vertically. Great, so now I'm going to place this image down here. I'm gonna zoom in by clicking Command and Plus on my keyboard just to get a better view. And I will shift this up just a little bit. It's not cut off the top. That looks great. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and perfect. If we toggle the visibility here, we can kind of get an idea for how it's gonna be divided up. We get this tail end in the first gallery, the midsection in the second, and then the front end in the last one. Great. 
So now, as promised, we just need to determine where to cut each of these images and then export it so we can upload it to ChatFuel. So to do that, I'm going to select the crop tool over here and then I have the snapping and sort of magnetic nature of the crop tool enabled. So it'll give me a hint for where to crop off these images based on the background layers that we've created. So first I'm going to drag it all the way over here to get a rough idea. You can see it snaps right here and great. So I'm going to crop that, go to save this. I'll call it one.jpg. I recommend exporting in JPEG quality. I'll choose JPEG and this already exists. So I am gonna overwrite each of the previous demo files that I've created. I'll replace and then I'm gonna max out the quality here. Although you can reduce it to optimize how quickly those files will load. And great. For this next part, as I do the remaining two of these, I'm just gonna fast forward it because it is the same process. So I'll see you on the other side. Okay, and we are done. The one question you might've been asking is, well, what happened? How did you go back when you cropped this image and then you return to the full image again? And the answer is simple. If you're on a Mac like I am, or even if you're on a PC, all you have to do is an undo. So on Mac, that's Command Z, goes back to that full image, or obviously you could do it through the edit menu here in Photoshop. And it's really simple. So great, now we have all our three exported images, each section of the larger image, and now we can head over back into Chatfield to upload those and assemble them. I'm going to create a new block here just to show you how I did this since I had the example there from the start. And so we'll call this image, let's say. We'll choose the gallery card option, upload the image. We'll choose the first one here. We'll choose horizontal. You can also do this with square gallery cards. The dimensions will just be different. I'll upload that first one. And again, speed through the process of uploading the remaining two. And voila, there we go. It's pretty simple to set this up. Obviously, we can then emphasize this image with three different features, let's say. So we could write in, you know, feature one here of the vehicle, feature two and three. Include some subtext. If you want, include a button with a call to action that leads to your Shopify store, for example, whatever the case might be. But I thought this would just be a fun, creative example of what you can do with Chatfield to really push the envelope with what's possible. Obviously, most people just upload and think of galleries individually, but why not combine them and create some sort of cohesive image that will really leave a lasting impact in your subscribers? So that is essentially this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Also down below in the comments, if you don't have any questions, tell me how you plan on using this for your bot, whether it's for e-commerce or any sort of use case, I would really like to know. Thanks for watching so much. Happy botting, and we'll see you in the next video.